Warning, this game contains flashing lights and images that may trigger seizures in individuals with photosensitive epilepsy. Greetings, fellow outsiders, and welcome to a game called The Lancaster Leak, uh, O'Brien State Park. This is an episodic series, I think, from Itch.io, where it is found footage and we control it. In this one in particular, it says an FBI intern leaked special invest investigation tapes before suddenly disappearing. The first type of the series contains found footage from O'Brien State Park revealing the true events that were covered up in the 1980s. So I have a feeling this is going to be very stylized, but I'm excited for it. I hope you guys are too. So let's go ahead and get started. The following tape and many others were recovered by an FBI intern Valerie Bordeaux and given to us. Who is us? Valerie Bordeaux. Leaving without a trace, she suddenly went missing at the end of her internship in Lancaster, California. Foul play is suspected. That's foul play. I call that foul play. It's a foul jump scare. It's what it is. So long as Valerie is missing, these tapes will continue to be leaked. We gave you a chance and this will be your last. You gave me a chance. I I, this, I've only had one chance. So one chance is my last chance? FBI warning, the information conveyed through this debrief slash training tape pertains to a prior investigation. It is imperative that agents refrain from viewing this material unless they possess the appropriate clearance and are under the direct supervision of an instructor. Any failure to comply with the directive will result in prosecution to the fullest extent possible under the Espionage Act of 1917. You have been warned. Case number 129876. Tape purpose debrief date 829 1998. Clearance TS. Uh, case type missing persons. Entity present. I didn't get to read the last part. O'Brien uh, State Park. Picture one. Previously inhabited by uh, both Dakota and uh, Ojibwe tribes tribes hopefully i said that correctly it is now home to a year-round camper and hikers the park along with other state parks in north have experienced an increase in animal like attacks the cause was unknown until found footage missing persons right away i knew that i wasn't gonna be able to finish that on august 28 1988 brady coffin a 58 year old 59 year old male visited o'brien state park unaccompanied the subject of behavior during the visit was unusual he intermittently started recording at various times medical record revealed no history of mental health concerns okay brady coffin picture two subsequently on august 26 the subject was reported as missing his body was discovered on August 30th and recovered footage will, uh, with, from his recording will now be presented in chronological order accompanied by annotations. I did it. I just need to read really fast. I'm not clicking through it. It's, it's, these are like set times the game is giving me. All right. And the FBI warning played. Oh, and we're in and it's very dark. So we're playing as him. The subject initiated recording. The reason for their sudden recording, I... I wish I could close those. Then we have the subject would occasionally zoom, right mouse button on certain objects. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in on this. I wanna see all of the flies that are flocking towards that. And the fire! And a hatchet? Can I take that hatchet? The subject would occasionally pick up the hatchet to defend themselves against monsters. Okay, so where do I go from here? I can just do anything I want, basically. Can I crouch? I can. Can't go in here though. What is that? Walkie talkie? All right, let's go. Into the woods. Into the woods. Oh, okay. Not into the woods. Into the trees. Hey, there's another fire. Guys, there's another fire. Is that me? Am I just stuck in a loop? Am I stuck, stuck in like a time loop or something? I wanna see the fire. Which way am I supposed to go? Why are you gatekeeping me from the interesting things? Is that just another camper and not anything interesting? All right, I can't run at all. What is this? Oh, it's a rock. All right, cool. Glad I checked that out. 10 p.m. the subject turned right and went to uh, the bathroom to shower. And we brought the camera with us to shower for for what reason <laughs> does the fbi know that too are they annotating it into the into the video the fireflies are very pretty though there's a lot of them though which means depending on the time of year but there's a lot of mosquitoes here too rock nice there's a lot of rocks here turned right where's the bathroom Wait, it's another campsite. I want to see what this is. No, let me see. 
I'm snooping. <laughs> oh my god, that's a tree. I thought that I thought it was a ghost. Okay. How far away is the bed? <laughs> Are you okay? What is that in the wind? Is that just plants? Are you okay? Don't do that to me. You're gonna scare me and then it's gonna give me a headache. The moon is very beautiful though. Okay. There's another campsite there. Can we see anybody here? That's a branch. <laughs> you know what? I bet all of the campers just uh, ganged up on this guy to confront him about him going around videotaping all of their campsites and peeping in on them. I like legitimately don't know if I'm going the wrong direction though. That's the only thing. Some pretty flowers. Ooh, there's a whole house. Is this where I'm going? This is like the camping house to use the bathroom. Hello? I see a fire going. Hello? What does this say? I want to look at this first. It has nothing on it. It's just a blank piece of wood. <laughs> okay. Nice to know the information sign contains zero information. All right, we have this bathroom. Can't go in. And this one. Ooh, the sound is all creepy. Can I open the trash? Okay, let's shower. I don't like the fact I can't see anything here. Hello? Okay, well you just ruined your camera by bringing it into the shower. Pause one, the subject stops filming, then takes a shower. It is estimated 10 minutes lapse before the subject films again. I can't finish reading. Let me finish reading, I don't read that fast. Okay, we showered and we picked up our camera immediately after we're done showering. Those are all closed. Somebody's in the toilet. Hello? Hello? Are they gonna come out? <laughs> We're just waiting patiently outside of the stall. They open the door, they're like, whoa! <laughs> you okay? <laughs> All right, goodbye. I bet there's a ton of spiders in here. I bet this is just like, like made of spiders. It's like a spider toilet. Okay, is there anything else? A uh, tree? What is down this way? Is this road just straight up blocked off? How do you get out of this camp? I guess that might be the point. You just don't. This is the final resting place. So is this gonna be a cryptid or ghosts or murderer? I don't know. I guess cryptid would make the most sense if it's like a classified thing. Who knows? I'm sure we'll find out right before it murders us and the film just goes blip and we're done. I'm not gonna check these campsites because I don't see anything immediately that's catching my eye and I'm, I'm not sure there's gonna be anything more there. So we're just gonna go back to our campsite. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna be just fine. Is that a police car? You guys hear like a frog? Pop, 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 like that noise. Okay, I'm gonna put in my other headphones so that I'm fully immersed. Hello? Is this my campsite? Wait, where's my campsite? Here? Oh, this is mine. Uh, there's someone standing there. Hello? And the film stops? Upon returning to the campsite, an unknown figure stands near the subject's tent, uh, nor witnessing call white male of this profile while this person was standing here, they are still remains unknown, but is not actively being pursued. Why not? If this person is missing, unknown subject. Pause two, the largest jump of times happened at this point with an estimate of one to two hours uh, lapsed. The re uh, recording seems resumes with the subject two miles in the Hardwood Hills loop. Why the subject stated, uh, start of the hike is not uh, relevant to the Bureau's involvement. What? 
But if I just... All right, I guess I'll keep going forward. I'm assuming I can't go back because a gate keeps me every time I go back. But if that subject was there, it's probably part of the reason why they went for a hike and at least part of the reason why they went missing. It doesn't make sense why they're just like, yeah, just ignore it. Wait, am I going the right way? Which way am I supposed to be? I get so confused. I also have to like skim read it. <laughs> Cause they go too fast. It goes too fast for me to like read it out loud. Okay, yeah, I can't go this way. So I was, I was supposed to be going down. I just never know if you backtrack a tiny bit if there's gonna be a jump scare or you're gonna get more of the story. And I like knowing all of the story. Also, maybe we knew the person. Maybe this person knew that person or maybe not actually. And how do you know it's the same person recording? Hold on, I have so many questions that you're not answering. Because they never show who this person is or like their feet. I can't see the feet. I can't turn this around and see their face. So like, who is it supposed to be that I'm looking at? Who do you know? Hmm. I think this investigation is not going well. I haven't seen anybody in the woods yet. That wasn't an invitation. I wasn't like itching to see or hear anybody. Was that a laugh? Oh, ho, ho. It's Santa Claus. I'm so nervous. Hello, I don't want to turn around. I turned around and then I was scared to turn back around. Hello? I'm so... What? Are the trees coming alive? Oh my God, maybe. Look at that, that looks scary. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Oh dear, that scared me. Okay, so maybe it was just the deer making the noise the whole time, so I don't have anything to be scared of? Is what you're telling me, so I should be fine? There should be nothing that shows up in front of me or around me? Hello? What am I looking at? Are these people fishing? Or it's just water? Oh, that's plants. I think the plants are after us. I think it's the plants. I think there's a plant cryptid that owns the forest and is controlling the plants and they're coming after us. Who's playing the bagpipes? You need some practice, buddy. That's probably why I went out in the middle of the woods. It's like, oh, my neighbors hate me. But the bagpipes call my name. Moon is really pretty. Maybe it's a bagpipe wielding werewolf. That'd be an awesome character, I think. Still not seeing anything. I've heard some weird sounds. But other than the guy that was just standing at our cam, he probably just wanted like to know where the bathroom was. And then they started chatting and they realized they had a lot in common. They were like, oh my God, you like bagpipes too? No way, me too. I play the accordion, it's so cool. This is not. That poor deer. This looks like a deer dog, doesn't it? I guess it's just gotta think, the diseased deer was killed. Pause three, deceased, a uh, diseased deer. Subject encounter diseased deer attack by entity. The film abruptly ends after the subject detects entity in vicinity. Pause three, subject exhibits distress and flees off trail. Entity pursues subject and can be heard in proximity. Subject res resumes filming approximately four minutes after pause. This marks the final pause. <gasps> the final pause, our last. You can't just start the film and tell me where to, not where to run. Oh my God, he's scared. Subject runs shift as multiple sounds entities around him. But where? Where do I run to? Oh, I'm going the wrong direction. That just sounds like deer or the bagpipe werewolf. 
Is there going to be something that shows up in front of me? I couldn't figure out where the path was, so if I'm being honest, I could be in the completely wrong end of the map. Hello? He is holding the camera incredibly still while he's running. This is impressive. We can't lose him. He'd be an amazing cameraman. Or real life gimbal. Okay, where's the... To my right ear. He's like right behind me. It's like right behind me. I'm so gonna get scared. I'm not prepared. No! It's the edge of the map. I can't go up. <laughs> the subject struggles with the entity, but gets away. The camera is se severely damaged. Subject drops flashlight, then camera and creates a shadow backdrop. Oh, it's so perfect. It's so cinematic. <laughs> Distant enemies can be heard. <laughs> End of tape. Freddy Coffin's death would occur over the next five minutes. The remaining footage has been cut short for viewer discretion. Additional entities could be heard and would later fight over the remains. Subject to autopsy, death scene. The subject remains. Oh my God, it's just his pelvis and his spine. <laughs> We're found scattered. Most of the flesh was consumed. Little personal items remained intact. The public was told it was an abnormal bear attack. A bear attack that like eats down to the bone. Everything gone, everything. Case relevance, the subject's film was the first footage captured of S12. Ultimately, the subject's footage provided the Bureau of Proof of ex uh, extended funding and special operation to contain entities. This case marks the first of many successful entity resolution programs. Oh my God, Wendigo! Oh, that, okay, that makes sense. Containability three, risk severe. That was like a deer creature. Sounded like a deer creature. Wendigos are creatures originated from the Native American tribes of the Great Lakes region, the malevolent supernatural beings uh, bring terror and forest dwellers and linked numerous personal cases, tail and uh, emaciated, emaciated looking tall <laughs> when it goes. According to recent intelligence, there has been notable resurgence of the Wendigo and their geographical distribution has now expanded southward towards Minneapolis. In response to this emerging threat, the Bureau has established a joint task force in collaboration with the Canadian CSIS to take immediate and decisive action to halt the expansion of species and eventual eradication. Okay. It is imperative to maintain strict operational security and keep the general public informed of these operations to prevent any unnecessary panic or interference. Does this look panicked to you? Ah, all right, Jeremy Fisher. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Sean, your screams were terrifying. The voice actor. The story doesn't end here. Read the associated r slash no sleep story. Read it. Ah, uh, work in a secretary as a small FBI office. Maintain a pink. Huh, to, up, up, up. <laughs> Consider joining the Discord. All right. Well, that was Lancaster Leak at O'Brien State Park. Very interesting. Very creepy. I'd say the atmosphere is shown through. All right. Well, that was our first entity. I think that this is episodic. Like I said, as I'm recording, there's a, at least one more episode out, but I think it's going to be like cryptids maybe because that was a Wendigo, which is known as like a cryptid. Um, very interesting. I enjoyed this one. I hope you guys did too. If you did, be sure to leave a like down in the video and let me know down in the comments. But on that note, I'm going to say farewell, friends. Thank you so much for being here. Remember, we're not alone out there and I will see you guys in another video. Bye-bye. I want to learn more about Wendigos. I feel like I've seen Wendigos in a couple different games and like forms of media, but they've all been like a little bit different in each of them. I like learning about cryptids. I think they're kind of cool. <laughs>